All right, let's look at Venn diagrams. Um, Venn diagrams are a method of illustrating sets. This helps to kind of visualize um, the relationship between sets, and it might actually help with better understanding union and intersection between sets. So basically the way you construct it is you use a rectangle to illustrate the universal set sigma. So basically everything in sigma will be contained within this green rectangle. And then within the rectangle, you have uh, two partially overlapping circles to represent the subsets of uh, sigma. So we have a blue circle representing set B, a red circle inter inter uh, representing set A, and they partially overlap. And this overlapping space is going to be what they have in common. So let's fill this out. Um, let's start with set A. So Set A contains one as an element, and it's not in set B. So we'll put that over here in the part of the circle that is only for set A. Uh, set A has number four in it, but also set B has number four in it. So we're going to put that in the middle, uh, the overlapping section of the two circles, because four is in both A and B. So we're going to put it in the middle where they overlap. Um, seven is in set A, but not B. So that's going to stay over here where it's just only in the space for A. And 8 is in set A and also in set B. So that's going to go in the middle because A and B both share 8 as an element. And then uh, let's see, set B has 2 as an element, but that's not in A. So we're going to put that over in a section that's only elements of B. Uh, 5 is in B, but not in A, and 9 is in B, but not in A. And then our universal set is uh, 1 through 10. So basically out here, outside of A and B, we're going to have the elements that are in the universal set, but in neither A nor B. So we have one represented already, two is represented, but three is not an element of A or B. So that's going to be outside here as part of the universal set. Um, four is represented, five is. Um, six is an element of the universal set, but not an element of A or B, so that's going to be outside the circles. Uh, seven is represented, eight and 9 are represented, but 10, again, 10 is an element of the universal set, but not part of A or B. So since it's not an element of A or B, we're going to put that somewhere outside the circles representing set A and set B. And notice in here, I made a note that the overlap of the two circles, this is your A intersect B. So if we were to find A intersect B for these two sets, the intersection of A and B, what they have in common, would be 4 and 8, which is what we have in the overlap of our two circles representing set A and set B. Okay, uh, I think that's about it. I hope that was helpful. Um, and I uh, look forward to working with you next lesson, and there should be some practice problems for you to try um, in addition to the ones that were in the lesson video. Thank you.